let's move to another, I mean, a contending one that is the issue in, um, um, in River State. Uh, you, you brought out a statement in River State uh, about some of the findings that your commission, uh, the commission that you, uh, the committee you set up. Uh, what is the decision of the commission now about River State? You going ahead to conclude by counting or releasing the collation of results? Or what has the commission decided on River State? In terms of River State, the suspension of the elections in Rivers, and Rivers does, as of now does not have um, a supplementary election. We're just going to conclude the process of collation. Her statement on the release on Friday was very clear. I, really, if you read that statement, you'll find all the answers. But for the benefit of those who've not read the statement, River State was suspended. The, the, the process, the whole process was suspended because of certain things uh, which were stated at time of suspension. A fact-finding committee was set up, led by a national commissioner, to go to uh, River State, and they went there in the back. They submitted their report, and they now found that the lots of results of the uh, polling unit results were actually in our custody and are safe. Great. They found out that I think in 21 constituencies, declarations have been made, and that's the end of that. The return has been made, and um, state assembly seats, fine. But the um, and. Uh, voting was generally peaceful in most polling units and uh, were satisfied with what was what, on ground when the fact-finding committee went there. But there are certain areas where voting could not take place, a few areas. And there are also areas where um, everything had been concluded, were going on to collation, and some collated results had been declared, some had not, before the suspension of the exercise. So we'll go back and complete that exercise. And the only um, point of I call it disagreement and due deference to the Leonard Senior Advocate in, in the studios there, was when he said um, in a, that was an inex opinion about um, uh, soldiers and armed gangs. That wasn't an opinion. That is a fact. We interviewed several people that were on ground, both our staff and um, other observers and people that were there. We interviewed them and the facts were established as far as the committee is concerned. If, you, if it comes to litigation, maybe we'll have to reestablish those facts in court. But as far as the committee was concerned, facts were established that Armed gangs overrode many places and the soldier was shot. But at the same time, soldiers as well took over the process. They, 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 they overstepped their constitutional responsibilities and their bounds. And we said, no, that cannot be. So we welcome the statement of the army that is going to look into that uh, river state and all other states where this occurred. And I'm sure those who um, established the facts with our committee will be prepared, if invited, to, um, to, 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 to give evidence of, as to what, what they saw and what occurred. In their, in their, especially collation centers. Collation centers were invaded in some, by armed gangs in some instances, and in other instances by some soldiers. There was no, no doubt, no dispute about, about that, no more than men in uniform. Yes, some men were in uniform. So that is what um, we're going to go back, and we did say in the statement that we'll engage the, 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 the military hierarchy, especially the army hierarchy, in Abuja and um, talk to their, we engage them, and um, I'm happy they have kept on reestablishing the fact that they have a constitutional role to play the stick to professionalism and play that role. So that's part of what the engagement will be uh, about early in the week before going back to conclude that process. And we hope that security will be uh, well, well, well established there and will perform all their constitutional uh, uh, roles and stick only to those roles and be professional throughout. So that INEC is the body charged by the constitution to conduct the election, count the votes, collect the votes, and announce the results. No other person or authority has that, uh, has that responsibility and not to interfere with the process. <music>